now Take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your Hello everybody and welcome back to Jay's Crafty Live, my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, giving this video a like and hitting that post notification button for any updates of when I release future videos. Now, today's video isn't completely crafty. It's kind of more to do with like, this is a my collection i collect enamel pins because i love them so much for some reason they're literally just decorative they don't do anything but i really really like certain ones so i thought i would share my collection with you all today i have four of these square uh cork board things i got them from wilkinson's i think um they're meant to stick on the wall they've got like a sticky thing on the back but i haven't stuck them on the wall yet because i don't know where i want them and I kind of just don't dare. I don't feel like it's going to hold the weight of the enamel pins, so I'm probably just going to leave them like this. Um, I'll walk you through all the pins that I have here. The only problem is I cannot remember for the life of me where some of them are from, so please, please excuse that and don't be offended if it is from your shop and I have not mentioned your name. I am very bad with names and I have a poor memory and I just cannot remember where I got half of these from because I've been collecting them for over a year so it can sometimes have been quite a while since I ordered them. Okay so um, it's really difficult for me to bring this close to the camera for you to see them more properly because the camera stand sticks out so I can't bring it all the way like from the top to the camera so I will pull them out one by one and show you them um, and I'll just put them back properly later. Now all the ones on this um, square is from the shop called Stamey Studios which I do remember because I used to be a part of her monthly subscription club so that's why I've collected a lot of her pins and I love them a lot as well she does a lot of like different styles they're really thick and they're just really good quality pins so I love them I had to collect them this one I was after for so long because she always sells out of these Harry Potter baubles and it's just amazing like look at that shine you can see my fingerprints it's really like it's glittery at the bottom and then it's got like the hogwarts castles and then the top's like a milky see-through to give the illusion of like a snowy day which is just it's absolutely an amazing pin it's one of my all-time favorites she's got a few different styles of those baubles as well this one was really cute i ordered this one separately not in the club because i liked it so much it's probably from some kind of uh like anime program or game but i don't know all of them i'm trying i'm actually getting into anime a lot but i'm not familiar with everything just yet i'm also starting a gaming youtube which is a bit scary for some reason but i am into gaming a lot and i have a nintendo switch playstation 4 stuff like that so i'm gonna be uh, once my capture card comes i'm gonna be filming some youtube videos so if you are into gaming and you like to watch um people play that aren't very good at games <laughs> come to my channel it's called crystal 20 there's no subscribers yet because i've not even uploaded a video but hopefully that will be starting soon so moving on to pins then this next one is probably from a, a mario game i think because i recognize the ghost but i don't know which one um it may be from that one where uh, he kind of sucks up the ghosts i can't remember i haven't got that one yet um but yeah this one's really cute again i ordered this one not in the club like separately because i really liked it let me try and remember which ones i've shown you so i'm going to try and go in a good order this cactus man i know he's at i think it's final fantasy um but i just really really loved it it's so so cute a little cactus dancing i had to have it i'll try and be a bit faster because we'll be here forever this one's really cute. I had to have it because of the rainbow kind of look on it. It's probably not great on the camera, but it's that kind of metal where it's like a rainbow metal and it's a cat wizard. So of course I had to have it. Anything with cats in, I want. This is a sleeping cat Harry Potter scarf, but cat. <laughs> Obviously had to have it because it's a cat and because Harry Potter and because books. This is one of the first ones I think I received in the club and I knew I had to be part of it because it was just such, such good quality. Like the thickness, look how thick her pins are. It is crazy and there's such good quality. Um, there's glitter in the eyes and I actually just really, really liked this design. Like the tiger and the leaves and stuff. It's, it's amazing. Like they're really big pins as well. 
and it's a really good price so I do recommend I'll try and put a link at the bottom of the video um, to her subscription page and I'll uh, so that you can go and have a look yourself and maybe sign up this one um, I think I ordered it outside of the club as well it's like a little tiger cat thing it's such a little cutie and in the background um, there's like some trees like it's like a pattern it's really really cool this is uh, I had to have this in my collection because it's a cat again and it's kind of mystical with the moon on the head because I love stuff to do with like I've been thinking about also <laughs> I'm gonna end up with 50 million YouTube channels I can see it but I'm into so much stuff to do with like horror scary paranormal like conspiracy theories ghosts that like aliens but I'm also into the mystical side so like crystals and um like witchy kind of stuff I love all that kind of thing so I've been thinking about doing maybe a channel as well where I kind of discuss things on those topics but let me know if you'd be interested in that or if you're also interested I don't know what the hell that is Ew. but yeah this one's really glittery and really cute and it's like a lilac -y colour look how shiny that is I'll blind everyone next up sleepy duck on the cloud another cute one I think this one was in the uh, the, the subscription club um just another cutie i love it this one i ordered outside of the club because had to have it it's like three cats in a pea pod and it also reminds me of um oh what's it called now <laughs> i can't remember it reminds me of oh toy story that's it oh dear reminds me of toy story this was one, I think, part of the Christmas one from the club. And it's a cute little girl holding a little puppy dog. She's got bells in her ears, which is cool. Uh, another one part of the club. This is a cute one. I'm not sure the theme of this one because it looks like there's like Hawaiian flowers, which reminds me of like hot weather. And there's foxes, but it's wearing a scarf, so I feel like it's cold. So maybe it's like winter in Hawaii. I'm not sure. But it's super cute with a little baby fox. Another one we had, I think this one was to do with like Year of the Goat or something. Don't quote me on that, I don't know. <laughs> but I can't get it out. It's still cute nonetheless. It's got really glittery butterflies. It's poking his little tongue out. It's really cute. Let me know if any of you collect um, pins as well. I'd be interested to see which ones you have because I'm always up for getting more. I love them. This is a anime girl which I got free because I think when you sign up to a club you get one free on the first month which is another awesome perk. And by the way I'm not sponsored by her either, I just really love her items. This is another one that came in the club and it's a bit like a little squirrel eating some strawberries. It's probably not a squirrel, what are they called that eat like strawberries? I'm not sure. Uh, this is one of my favourites. Tamagotchi. She has loads of different styles of Tamagotchis and I had one as a child so obviously I had to have this being a 90s kid. Tamagotchis were all the rave back then and it's just so cool. She's got a few different colours you can choose from and they have different charms hanging off them too but I just love the like the hanging part of it. It's really cool. Oh actually I think this one was like year of the like Chinese New Year I think it was that we had this one for. It's a, one of the thinner ones but it's also it's still really cool and it's a uh, limited edition one. I love that on the back as well when it's limited edition it's like got a really cool print on the back so it's really cute. I've got a gap here because I'm, I'm, um, I know I'm going to order more from her. This had to be ordered. It's separate, didn't come in the club, it's on a website and it was called Luna. One of my cats is called Luna and this is a sleeping cat on a cloud of the moon so I had to have it plus it's got little dangly charms which are really really cute. I love the kind of pins where they're just different. They're not a plain pin. They've got something different about them, something unique. I love that kind. I'm always looking for, for pins like that. The same with this middle one. Um, I'll see if I can... Oh yeah, it comes up quite easily, but it's really, really big. This is my all-time favourite pin. It's massive, as you can see. It's like the size... Well, it's like the size of my palm just for the balloons and then it's got the dangly cat in the house this one is just amazing it obviously it's got a cat in it so it was cute anyway but it reminds me of the film up which is probably the whole point and it's got these like 
uh, chain strings hanging the little guy down there so I thought that was awesome and it fits nicely in the middle of this board takes up a whole chunk on its own it's massive and I love it this is a Pokemon themed one so this is from the new Pokemon game that came out on the Nintendo Switch and at the beginning of the game you can choose which one of these is going to be your Pokemon um, I can't remember their names I'm really bad with names so I'm sorry I think I chose this one on the left I can't remember I haven't played it in a while I need to pick it back up again actually um, the background is glittery purple which is cool but I thought that was really awesome and then this one I think it's um, off Mario because of the that plant there but I ordered this one because I love like the terrarium kind of style and the colours are really bold with like big black lines so I like that it reminds me of the colouring books and stuff and I also do like Mario so I had to have this one and it's black on the back which is really cool I'm sorry if this is gonna be a really long video I've got so many to get through I'll move up here so this is um one that came I think it came the club or I ordered it so I cannot remember which one um but it was kind of like a phoenix with a girl so I really really liked that one and then this is another one of my favourites because it's like witchy themed and it's a cat and I think this one she actually um, sold out of and had to get them again for the club because everyone just loved it so much when she released it. As you can see why, there's a rose there and there's like a potion spilling and a little cat with a witchy hat so that one's really cute. Now I'm not going to pull all these little... Um, Pokemon ones out but she also has on a Patreon you can sign up and um, subscribe to get in like collecting the whole Pokemon collection of all the characters now I have played Pokemon on this Nintendo Switch but I haven't played it over all the past years so I'm not familiar with all the characters yet um, obviously getting into more gaming I'm gonna hopefully do that but I did start collecting the Pokemon characters anyway because I just love the pins and I do like Pokemon um, I put this girl with the collection she didn't come as part of the club but obviously she's Pikachu like a kawaii girl as a Pikachu so I had to put her with it but I really really like this one as well um, so yeah you can also choose which ones you get out of so many so they'll be like five or something and you can choose which ones you want for your collection and you can also choose how many you want each month as well which is a nice feature but if you did want to see those bigger ones closer let me know but I'm going to skip on from them ones for now just because I'm not familiar with their names this is a board full of like randoms kind of thing so I cannot remember the name of half the places I got them from so I'm really sorry about that but I'll, I'll walk through them anyway these down here are I kind of tried to put them in like little categories on the board but these are the cute um i kind of like glittery and just cute ones so I, I need to remember the name of this shop i'll write it at the bottom um in the description below what shop some loads of these are from because a lot of these are from the same shop and they do a lot and i love them but i can't remember the name of it right now so i'll link it below when uh, when this video goes up but this dinosaur was really cute i had to have it because it's pink and glittery and then they actually do sales quite often so i got a lot of these in the sales at really good prices um this one reminds me of polly pocket and my makeup is for me and it's got some glittery pink there so i love love that this one i cannot remember where i got this one from but i ordered it because it's got rose gold hardware on it it probably doesn't show as rose gold very much but all the uh, metal is rose gold and it's like a cat mermaid so awesome and then this one is just the ultimate glittery if you do pins and they're glittery like i'll buy them this is super glittery and it's a unicorn so obviously you have to join the collection but it's just super glittery in all different colors which is just amazing and um, they do a couple of different mermaids on this shop as well this one i thought was really cute i got these in the sale and uh, this is like a black hardware one. Oh, the names on the back how stupid am i punky pins is the name <laughs> um you might have heard of them if you're into pins because they are a big store so go and take a look at punky pins because they have a big selection and they're always doing sales and that's where i got most of these ones from on this board 
This one's um, another mermaid, all pink and glittery. Again, punky pins. And then I got a daisy chain corner one because I actually want to get one for each corner of the board just because OCD didn't want it just one corner, but I thought that was really cool. A little daisy chain corner. They do quite a lot of little ones on there, which is nice, you know, if you want to do like filling your gaps and stuff. And if you don't want those are big chunky ones as well, but this one's really nice. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's different to the others. It's a bit domed um, with like resin, I guess. I don't know, but the glitter in it stands out a lot as well. A little ice cream sundae making me want one because it's super hot right now. If you can hear the weather outside, I apologise. I am shutting my craft um, house kind of thing, but... Um, the wind is absolutely crazy for the last two days. It's been blowing an absolute gale. If you're hungry, look away. Little pizza slice. I don't know where these are from. I think these were more like cheaper ones because they uh, they aren't as good quality at all. But a burger, some little foods. I've got a tooth with some sprinkles because I have a sweet tooth and always eating sweets which is bad but I had to get that because I thought it was funny and then a hot dang hot dog oh, that was pretty funny I'm probably gonna move through these quite quick now got a bitch spray sorry if you don't like swearing but I thought that was funny this one again is from Punky Pins, Living the Hoodie Life. I thought that really funny, like a face with a little hoodie on. I've got some little plants as well. These ones are really small, so they're good for filler pins. Um, I've got this little small plant here, and then there's another one uh, up here. And these are really small, but I really liked them. They came as a pair, I think. But this one, I won't say it, it is another swear word, but it's a unicorn and I thought it was funny. Uh, got this one, Fat Cat Appreciation Club, because our cats are little chunky so-and-sos. They spread out, look like puddles sometimes, I call them puddles. Um, I've got this cat face and this cat face, which we actually do have in our shop on Planter Stitch, if you wanted to take a look. We have this one, which is if it fits, I sit. We have bought, you're probably the same if you have cats, but we have bought our cats so many toys, especially expensive ones like new towers and toys, and they'll just go and sit in the cardboard box and not be bothered. This one, I think we got from like a random shop when we went shopping somewhere. They had them on the counter and I can't remember where it was, but my partner bought it for me because it's a cat and he knows I'm collecting pins. This is another swear weird one, so look away. But um, I thought this was really cool because it is kind of me and I'm totally antisocial kind of thing. Is it called an extrovert or an introvert? I don't know which one it is, but the one that like gets social anxiety, that is me. Got this one, hell yeah. This one again is from Punky Pins. It was something that was on sale and I just liked the writing. It reminds me of like 90s not 90s, like 70s I guess, I don't know. This one, Just Keep Going, is another rainbow one. Which is why I had to have it. And then we've got some book themed ones because I love reading. The book was better, which is true for quite a lot of books. This one says, I am a part of everything I have read. Which is true, I guess. If you Have you ever read a book where it kind of just stays with you forever? I have. This one says it's a sign. It's something that me and our partner always say because we kind of believe that everything happens for a reason. So I had to have that one. This one says, yay for today. I loved the way that like the banner looked. So I like that one. It's really it's gold shiny. Uh, this one and this one was from Hobbycraft. Uh, my partner got them for me. They had them on sale on the desk. I think it was for a pound it was for a charity so we got those this one says anxious af because again me <laughs> but it's also glittery in all different colors which is pretty awesome that's from punky pins as well this one's from punky pins again 
This one is another one from Punky Pins and it's pink and glittery. It's super, super glittery, which is why I ordered it. And I also like the fact that it's got like a black outline. So I think it contrasts with the pink really cool. So I liked it stand out. This is a cat dressing up as a unicorn, which I thought was super cute and funny. I would totally dress my cats up as unicorns if they uh, wouldn't kill me for doing it. And I had to have this one because obviously I'm a cat mama and I loved it so much. I love the style of it. It's black outlines, bold colours and we have three cats. Got this one which is a Hello Kitty one and it's all gold with uh, like a black outline. I really liked that. I used to like Hello Kitty when I was younger. I don't know if people are still into Hello Kitty or not or whether it's like died down or not. I'm not sure. But... Here's another Hello Kitty one. I thought it was cute because it's like me and Michael. I like that a lot. This one is uh, a cat dressed up as a strawberry, I guess. And it's from Punky Pins, but I guess they did a collaboration with Sanrio because it's also got their copyright thing at the bottom, so it must be a Hello Kitty one. Got a Furby one because 90s kid, we had Furbies loved it i've got this one because it says fight like a girl i'm into gaming so i thought that was really cool and this one i love this one it's really big but there's a problem with it that is maybe not like it and it's the fact that it's such a massive pin and there's only one um like i don't know what they're called spike on the back it could do with like another two here or at least another one because when it's pinned down it just spins like that and it really annoys me because it's such a big one it kind of just i don't know it needs it needs more stability but i like this style anyway because obviously we have three cats and it's kind of mystical um so that's really cute and again it says on the back it's from chip kawaii which i think was on etsy i have this one it's a anime girl it's probably a certain one but I don't know which one it is and it's from Steamy Studio so it actually doesn't belong on this one. I don't know why I put it on that, maybe I didn't realise it was from her thing. I'm going to move it onto her board but it's uh, another really cute one and I really like that. This one is uh, all pastel colours and it's like one of those um, horse ride things but it's a unicorn. I think it's from Chick Kawai as well, yeah. Chick Kawai and Etsy have this one next I think hmm. I think her name was Joanne Beha. Beha? I don't know I'll link her in the description again below but this one is a really it's like a really sad star but it's really really glittery and yellow I loved it but I also feel sorry for it I have this one oh boy um I got this one from, I'm not going to be able to remember the name again, um, it's a shop that I've ordered quite a few things from, it might be on the back of this, let me check, nope, I cannot remember for the life of me what the shop's called for this one but if I remember I'll link it in the description below, um, but it's a Mickey Mouse and it says oh boy, I like it and it's gold. That one's more of like a a light gold than a pure gold. These five are all from the same shop, um, CJ Art in Canada. And they cost me quite a lot to get them over here in the UK, obviously, with shipping. Um, and they weren't like the cheaper kind of pins, but it's because they're good. They're good quality. Um, it's got a swear word on it, which I won't read out, but I thought it was really cool. And it's uh, off Mario as well. This one I really, really liked. Perfection. Super, super cute. It's from the same person again. That's CJ Art, I think. And we've nearly finished this board. I've got one here, which obviously is Olaf from Frozen. And it's an abdominal snowman, which I thought was a really cool pun. I love the uh, pins that have puns on. They're really, really funny. If they're a good one anyway, but I like that one. Then we have Harry Potter and it says scarred for life, which again I thought was funny. He kind of looks, <laughs> he kind of looks like he's been up all night. And then here we have 
Stitch and it says Son of a Stitch. I thought that was really cute and it's a little baby. So another pun, I like that. And then here we have, it's kind of like a comic looking one if you're reading a comic. If you don't love me at my, that kind of peach, you don't deserve me at my, that kind of peach. <laughs> That's probably not the best way of describing it, but you'll probably get my drift. Now, moving on to these ones, uh, Punky Pins again. This is a stack of washi tapes, so that it kind of belongs in my Planner Life stuff. So we use them a lot in planners. If you're not into planners, then that's what they're mostly used for. But people use them to decorate all sorts of stuff. It's basically decorative sticky paper. And then I've got one here, a pack of colourful pens, which can be related to either colouring or planners but again that's from Punky Pins so I think I have done this whole board let's move on to the next one I'm sorry this is going to be such a long video I might split it into two parts depending but I'll probably I'll, I'll cut it down a lot right this board then again is full of um, some random some stuff that I've got from planner shops all sorts of stuff so right starting at the bottom because I love them. This one's called a shop from a shop called Alum and Ink, and these were their um, the ones that are damaged. What are they called? Uh, these are second quality ones, but I can't see a problem with them. I like them a lot, and I ordered almost the whole collection of this style. So I just really, really like this design. Um, it's rainbow coloured on the metal, uh, and then it's like pastel colours on the images. And I've actually got seven of them all together it's just my kind of theme and, it, and with the rainbow coloured metal and the pastel colours I had to have them when I discovered the shop I'll link them in the description below so you can take a look they do all sorts of pins um, but these ones I really did like and they're all pastel coloured with the rainbow which is just perfect I just really like the um, style of them the images so I like when I see something I like to get the whole collection because it just doesn't feel right if I don't and I don't see anything wrong with these to say the seconds quality like I haven't spotted anything wrong with them like I'm a pin collector but I'm not one that's like everything has to be perfect so I would normally be like that in life with stuff but like with these especially if you're just looking from far away you don't really notice any of the imperfections so I don't mind some of these are now are from the planner side of my crafty life, I guess. Um, a lot of planner shops actually do their own pins sometimes. So these, this one, these ones I'm about to show you, but this one is from Simply Gilded. So that's the uh, subscription box that I've got a video of. That's her shop. And I ordered this one because it's a cute rainbow smiley face. And obviously rainbows are supporting the, um, the nurses right now during this... Uh, pandemic this is another dangly one which I really like and it's got a glittery dress pink dress and a glittery pink heart and this one again is from a shop called Simply Gilded I'll link her again down below but that one's just super beautiful some of these I did order from a shop um, some of them I got in the Christmas um, calendar that she sends where you get like 12 envelopes and you open one each day in December um, and some of them I got in the subscription club so this rabbit is part of her like logo and her image in her planner shop so we have this rabbit here and a grey one I think this is the one that came in the subscription club, I can't remember, but in one of them I think it did. And then I have this one with the super glittery dress, which is really, really cute. And then this is another one from her shop as well, with the rabbit again. I have a lot of her magnets as well, I love the magnets. This one is, if I can get it out is it from I can't remember who it's from it's another planner shop but I really liked it because again black hardware 
um, that's a rainbow, uh, a unicorn bun by the way, and the clouds just really glittery and lilac, so I loved it. Oh, I miss this one, this is a Simply Gilded one again as well, and I love the style of it with the big bold lines and stuff and the black hardware. Uh, which one next? So this one is from a shop called Bloomsicle, which is another planner shop, which has started doing pins and washi tape and stuff. And it's a bow which is really glittery and pink. This is a shop called Fox and Cactus and I love their stuff. They do a lot of awesome stuff. They do pins, planner stuff, all sorts. Um, and they do a lot of pun style pins. So they're really, really awesome. So this one's from there. It's a shark, always scared. So I thought that was really funny. And then we... This bee is from Fox and Cactus again. And I thought it was super, super cute. His little face there, he just looks really evil. He's got some glittery... Um, and the knife. I don't think you can see the word on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> This one is again from Fox and Cactus and this one is a seconds one and I can see that what's wrong with this seconds one um, but it doesn't bother me and uh, let me know if you can spot what it is that's wrong with it actually you might be able to spot it I don't know uh, I thought this was really funny so uh, it's a cat with uh, flames behind it and they're really glittery I love it with the flames behind it um, and I thought it was funny because that's what it feels like sometimes running a business like you're just there trying to have a smile on your face and everything's just going to crap behind you. This one is from Fox and Cactus again. I keep moving it over here for some reason. Fox and Cactus again and got a glittery mermaid tail for the cat which was really cute. Trying to go a bit faster. This one is from another um, planner shop. I can't remember the name but I thought it was really cute. This is another one from Bloomsicle. And it's about reading so I had to have it it's kind of like a fairy tale once upon a time and the apple is red glittery so that was another awesome find this is one from a shop called grumpy bear I don't think she sells this one anymore the it's another planner related one so the pens are pink and glittery she's got a nice pink bow here which actually feels really nice to touch this is another one from fox and cactus and I really like it because it's the ghost and it looks really moody so I thought that was really funny This again is from a planner shop, I cannot remember the name, um, but I, really, I thought it was really cute holding a little drink and book there with a little hoodie on. This one, I can't remember the name of the shop either, I'm sorry, but I just liked it, I just thought it was, it was something a bit different, a bit unique. This is another one from Simply Gilded. And it's one of those boba teas, which I haven't actually ever tried. I'd like to at some point. I've never never tried one, so I don't know what they taste like. This was a really cool one. It's from another planner shop. I uh, can't remember the name, but I thought it was really nice because it's like a stick girl. But she's got a little pink glittery skirt on, so I thought that was really cool. I like to go for like the, the ones that are like unique and just something a bit different. This one says, you're looking gorgeous today. And it's from the same shop that I got this outfit one from, but again, I cannot remember. Um, this bow is a Simply Gilded bow. So another one from her shop. And then I've got this. I think this one is from Alum and Ink again. The ones that's got the these circles down here. Um, got this little donut guy from them because I loved it and I actually got a donut plushy like keyring from there as well which is super super cute this one is a another one that I got in a like a planner subscription kind of a pack but it's from the same shop as these again I'll put all these back properly later and then this one is the biggest one on here which I love and it's from a shop called Grumpy Bear super super glittery and it's just it's like a bear donut I love it so much I think we have done this square so I'm sorry for talking really fast but I'm trying to not make this video crazy long for you guys this is the last page so as you can see I am a, a massive horror fan if you don't like things to do with horror witchy kind of stuff then please look away or switch off because these are all now horror themed or 
Halloween stuff to do with that kind of stuff so I'll start at the top I got this one because obviously well it's uh, not a very good quality one it's got stuff all over it but it's like um, the Umbrella Corporation from Resident Evil so I liked that one because I like Resident Evil well I like the first one or two they got a bit ridiculous towards the end but I used to like the original Resident Evil games but I can't play them because I'm just too scared this one says keep calm and kill zombies that's awesome I really like Walking Dead and zombie films so that matched perfectly this one I got really cheap I don't know where it's from but it says cursed and it's got like blood dripping kind of thing this one is um, from horror movie I'm trying to remember which one it was because I feel like it's either I don't think it's Bates Motel or it might be the other film I can't I cannot remember what it's called now but this is a house from one of the horror films which uh, is a good one this one I ordered just because I thought it was really funny for some reason like it's an alien looking out in space but I also ordered it because it's black hardware and the white's all glittery so I kind of just wanted it that's pretty cool and then I put that one obviously next to this glittery <laughs> UFO which I really liked the glitter really stands out on that as you can see here we have Freddy Krueger's glove I thought that was really cool I used to love the Freddy Krueger films as I was a bit younger and then I've got the Elm Street street sign here with a splatter on the side and then we have um, Jason here. Uh, this is the girl from The Grudge. Super spooky. Um, this is the paper boat. It says SS Georgiani from It film. That obviously they put in the puddle and then it went down the drain and then he found the It clown. And then here is the balloon from it. We all float down here. I love it. It was such a good film. I, I love, love the remake. It was really, they, they did it really, really well. And um, the second one's good too. This is uh, Friday the 13th, or is it Halloween? I always get mixed up between the two and I don't know why. I always mix up Friday the 13th and Halloween. I think this is Halloween and Jason's Friday the 13th but probably wrong and then I've got Bates Motel here no vacancy that was a really good tv series as well I start I've watched it like a couple of times I never watched it all the way through and then I finally did and realized that it just gets like really really good towards the end but it's really shocking I obviously had to have this one because it's a little collection of all different horror films on VHS which I remember as a child and then a little box of popcorn there so we've got the Exorcist, Evil Dead, Halloween and Friday the 13th total classics and then we've got this one it glows in the dark as well and it says every day is Halloween it's really awesome and it feels really strange like it feels really rough um, but it glows in the dark oh, it's actually from a shop called Cavity Colours um, I think they're in America I'm not sure but they were quite expensive for me to get here in the UK um, this is a knife if I can get it up it's really small it's a little knife um, but the reflection has the it clown on it <laughs> really spooky and then obviously this one is uh, pretty creepy but it is the exorcist girl <laughs> that's what creeps me out a lot and then I have the Annabelle doll I love that film as well and then a classic horror film, Scream. But this one's really awesome. I think this is from Cavity Colours as well, and that's why I had to order from them. But this one, um, the knife moves. It moves up and down, which is a really cool addition. I haven't seen another other pins like it um, when I was looking, so I really, really liked that. Had to have him. Uh, this one I have just because I thought it was funny. It's a cat and it's showing its skeleton but the skeleton's glittery you probably can't see it it's like white glitter um but i thought that was really cool and then we have welcome to camp crystal lake 
another awesome one and then down the bottom here i tried to section it into two different styles so down the bottom we've got kind of all the mystical witchy kind of stuff so i have two tarot cards they're both the same but i wanted them in both colorways because i couldn't decide which one i wanted so um it says the moon on it one is lilac with the glittery moon and the other one is pure black and glittery and i love them so much i actually have some tarot cards myself that like um i don't know how to use them i just have some this is a girl like a witchy kind of girl i think it's um i can't remember her name from harry potter it reminds me of that girl that's like quite bubbly i can't remember her name this is a little ouija planchet it says yes or no i watch a lot of spooky videos on youtube <laughs> probably makes me a bit strange but I'm just really interested in it. My mum's the same, she was really interested in horror and paranormal so I guess I got it from her. This is like two snakes entwined with each other. So I thought that was a cool design. I don't really like snakes or snake stuff but I liked that design. And then we have a little crystal ball. I thought that was really cute. And then we have a vial here that says unicorn tears. I've actually been playing Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey and I've just got the unicorn and it's really cute. It leaves a trail of colours behind it, it's awesome. I've got the modern witchcraft book but I really liked this because all the smokes all silver glitter um, and this one is from Punky Pins again that you saw earlier on. I got this one because it was really cool. Little ghost, I really liked that one. And then we've got Witch's Brew with some glittery stuff coming out of the cup. Again, we've got some more tarot cards. This one's from Punky Pins, Down With My Demons. Uh, we have this one, which is it's like a pastel colour pumpkin. And I really, really liked the design. I can't remember who it's from, um, but I just liked the style of it. Uh, Polyjuice Potion from Harry Potter. It's green and glittery. It's a really nice design. Uh, Wizard in Training, which is a Harry Potter hat. I've got a swear word on this one, so I won't say it, but it's like another Ouija board planchette, which I quite liked because it's blue and glittery. And then the final pin, thank God, is a pumpkin cat head, which is cute. So if you are still here, <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to, I don't know, just talk through the collection of pins I have. If you collect them too, um, leave me a comment down below and we'll have a little chat. I'm interested to see what you have. Um, I'll put a picture up on my Instagram as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider dropping a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.